Welcome to another eShow episode. So, today, I'm going to bring you the new Microsoft Surface Pro 4. So, if you remember, I've been using the Surface Pro 3 for a while, and it's been fantastic. Really, I gotta tell you. It's been a good tablet, but... And, and I, I can't say it's a tablet, because it's really not a tablet. It's more of a computer. So, it's been good, but there's been a few problems. So that's why I had to bring it in. And then, of course, I decided, since I had the money, why not upgrade? So I upgraded to the Pro 4. It has a uh, Core i5, um, 2 gigs of, or 4, sorry, 4 gigs of RAM, uh, 128 gigs of memory. Um, it's running the new Windows 10. And then there's been a few improvements. The screen's gone be better. Um, of course, it still doesn't come with its own type cover. But, um... I was a little iffy about getting the type cover right now. But I definitely want to bring that to you in another video. So right now, um, I'm using my old type cover. I didn't bring that back. So, still just using the, my old type cover. And basically, the size of the screen of the actual body hasn't changed. And the actual size of the type cover, of course, hasn't changed. But there's still been some changes with the type cover. And that's why I do want to bring that to you in another video. But basically, with this, the major changes, you can sign in with your face. It'll look at your face and it'll sign you in. That is awesome. That's, that's one of the major improvements with this. And the fact that, you know, like most of the other Microsoft pro products... It doesn't start with a low, low, small model. It actually starts up high at, um, let's see, I think it's Core i3 Core i with 128. And then this is the next one up with the Core i5, 128 gig. They all, I'm pretty sure they all have 4 gigs, but I think like the top models, like a Core i7 with 6 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte storage or something like that. It's a monster, it's a beast, but that, it's, a, it's also expensive for the price, so... Um, as you can tell, this episode's all about Microsoft. It's not sponsored by Microsoft, though. I'm not sponsored yet. No one's sponsoring me, so... No one's sponsoring me. Um, I've made a few changes. If you can see over here, it's got a few cases and stuff back there. But for space purposes, since I want to have these two in the foreground, Microsoft is the bag that they gave me. I asked for a big one because I wanted a big display to show you all guys. And then, of course, the device. It's in the box. The box is very similar to the old one. It's got like some paperwork, and, well not paperwork, but information back here. The official stuff right there, uh, Windows 10. Um, it says it right there on the side, Microsoft Surface Pro 4. Um, some legal stuff, barcodes. I don't know why I keep saying like legal and all the paperwork that's on the inset, but yeah, that's like the barcodes and stuff. Um, and then just like the old box, it slides out this way. You pull it out like that. But I like this blue band that comes around. I thought that's a really cool design aspect to it. So right here in a second, we're going to, you know, open it up and take a look at what's inside. So we're just going to do a quick unboxing, show you what's on the inside. Um, when I went to the store, uh, for, someone, for some reason, since I lost the actual power cord that it comes with, they took the original one. And I've, I've been using a one that I've adapted for it. So I had the brick, but I had the, I lost the cord that went to the wall. So, um, they took the the one that was in here and just gave me the one that I've been using. So that's not a big deal. I don't have a problem with that. But yeah, we'll pop it open, show you what's on the inside, and then I want to really show you what's you know, what's all going on. And this is brand new. I haven't opened this up at all. I haven't even touched. The actual physical thing yet so this is going to be new for both of us i'm not going to know a whole lot about it we're going to be discovering it all together so let's go okay who is ready to take this thing out of the box okay it's going to be awkward because the camera's right here so i think i'm just going to operate it over here so camera's right here going here let's take this thing out of the box so of course just like the old one slides Right off like this. Let me get my hand to the other side. It's better to elevate it and pull it off. There we go. So that's it. Nothing in there. That's done. Toss that over. And it has a little 
the pull tab right here. It's hard to see because of the lighting. Sorry, the lighting sucks. But pull that. This folds open. Nothing right there. But there it is. Look at it. Smile. There's a little camera icon. And there's the microphone. Front facing microphone. So this thing comes with USB 3.0. Um, has a little display port to, you know, plug things into it. Um, right there shows you down there is where the tablet connects to. Then right here is uh, the power. Then up here is the power, and they moved, or that's the, you know, where you plug it in. That's the power button. And this is where, it used to be on this side, but they moved it up here. Whatever reason, I don't know. But, um, let's take, uh, let's take this out of the box first. First things first, take this out of the box, set that aside. Next, take a look at what's on the inside. First, we got the new designed pen. Thing's a little different. Um, there's a little button there. That's still a button. And of course, the special tip. And that, but the dedicated buttons along the side, um, they don't appear to be here. I don't see them. So, huh, that's... It's interesting, but anyways, there's a little stick part. This is all the, you know, information and stuff. Oops, sorry. Information booklet. Then on the inside, English. It's in English, France, French, and Spanish. Um, I'm assuming it's like warranty information. And a tiny little card. I'm not sure what this is for. Um, 2 access regulatory information, so this is how to access all the regulatory information on the actual device itself. But here's like, how to boot it up and everything, information about the pen and the kickstand and everything. So, yeah, and then right over here, this is what I talked about earlier. I've been using my own for a while because I lost the actual part that connected to something, whatever. But... Anyways, they took the one that usually goes in here, but it looks just like that. This is the same little thing that from the Surface Pro 3, sorry. But, yeah. Apparently, I was told the power bricks look exactly the same, so that shouldn't be a problem. Of course, you can see this one's been used. It's got scratches and everything. But, they said it was just like the, the other one. And I can see that the connection's the same, so... I'm not upset. That's that's not a big deal for me. So that's everything that, that's in the box. Um, let's, let's take an actual look at the device okay. itself. Let's get a look at this actual device itself. This is what everyone's here for. So basically, as you can tell, it's a lot like the original Surface Pro 3. And, of course, it's a little different than Surface Pro 2. But, you know, it labels the camera and the microphone... And, you know, where to grab to pull the kickstand out. But look at this. So, the here, let me pull that out of the plastic housing. It's really cool. I like this. Wow. This thing is slick. I like it. I could get used to this. So, apparently, the device isn't any bigger, but the screen is. So, apparently, they've used up more of the, you know, bezel space. Which isn't a big issue, so I'm not upset. But, again, as you can tell, they moved the volume rocker from where it was right here to right up here. But as you can tell, the, you know, headphone, microphone, dual port right there is still right there, as it was on the original device. And, of course, power, USB 3.0, and, but it's weird, it's not blue, like many of the other ones are, and the mini display port. So... And let's make sure that, yep, micro SD card slot right there. Let's get into this thing. Let's plug it in first. Same cord as the old one. And where is it? Magnetic connection, just like the last one. So it's plugged in. And this is my old keyboard. This isn't the new one. The new one has a few changes, and I really want to show you it sometime, but... You know, right now I can't exactly, so, but I was told by the store people that it would work exactly the same. As you can tell, it looks like it goes with it, so, and covers it, does everything it's supposed to. 
So let's power it on. And this is the pen, by the way. And I found out that right there, this part is sort of, you know, different. But right here, clicks. It's a right click, which is really cool. That's really interesting. And this is um, a race. Instead of activating one note, it's a race, which is really cool. This is going to be really useful. And look at this. Ready? Snap. There you go. Now we're going to get to the setup. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. Make sure it's all good and everything. And the trackpad, look at it. Works fine. So again, we're going to choose English, United States. What are, yep. Keyboard layout, US. This is, yeah, time zone. I am Mountain Time, US and Canada. Just make sure that's right. Because there's another uh, Mountain Time, so. That should be right. I'm just going to assume that's right. So, there you go. That's done. Next off, legal stuff. You can choose to read it. Of course, I'm not going to read it, but, you know, I'm going to scroll all the way to the end to make it look like I read it. Warranty procedures. This is going to be good for when you want to take it back. Because I had to do this with my original one. I was scared that it was only like a 30-day warranty or a 90-day warranty. But within a year, they'll let you bring it back and refund your price or bring it in and get a brand new one. And I paid the difference and I got a better one. Really great. So I'm pressing this and hold for five seconds. It's going to find it. Will it find it? Yep, there we go. It's connected. Let's see. Can I press next? Hey, yep. There we go. Got the little ball. And it's working. Sweet. Now, for the remainder of this, I'm just going to have it clip to the side. Easy. Out of the way. Now, I'm just going to connect to my okay, internet. All connected. Quick. Let's continue on with the setup. So, I'm just going to select Use Express Settings. I don't have to, you know, go through all that working. So, Express Settings. Okay. So we got just a little setup, a little setup screen. Let's watch and see what it does. It says, don't turn off your PC. Remember that, do not turn off your PC. And the guy at the store told me when it gives me the option, update it as soon as possible. They're saying there's been a, some bugs with it and they're doing a lot of updating. So as soon as you get this computer, make sure it's all updated. Okay, my organization? No, I own it. This is my computer now. Email or phone. Then once you're all signed in, just say sign in. It says to wait. Wait it out. Just a moment. Set up. So, you know, it's going to ask you to set up pin. And that's, you know, no big problem. Don't look. Then once you've entered the pin and everything, just gonna, you know, put you on a wait screen again, but no problem, we can wait. And then gives you Cortana stuff. So, hi, I'm a Cortana, I make things easier for you, get things done, blah, blah, blah. Search your finder, weather watcher, blah, blah, blah. Use Cortana. Just, you know, see what it looks like. Let's check it out, let it load up. Updates are done. Sweet. Okay. Now we're going to set up the apps. I like how it really walks you through all this stuff. It won't take long. Sweet. Because some people, they don't get around to setting up some of this stuff, which is, you know, good. And I feel this sort of stuff makes it seem more human and less like a computer. Which, you know... It can be good, it can be bad, but most of the time it's really good. So, I don't have a problem with it. And blah blah blah, says it won't take long. Okay, says let's start. And boom, you're thrown right into it. So, of course because it's bigger, because I have the old one, it kind of cuts off a little bit of it. But, no problem, I'll just wait till I get the new one. And the new one's supposed to be really good. So now that's all set up, I, um, yeah, there's nothing really much to show. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of you have seen a Windows 10 setup or something. And, you know, an update has been is being installed. So 
you know, basic new stuff. But if you haven't seen a Windows 10 update or uh, just walk through, I would love to be the one to make that for you. So comment down below if you'd want me to do that. Um, you know, set up OneDrive. I'll do that in a minute. But yeah, it's really easy. It's a lot better than Windows 10. Um, so, yeah, I think that's all I want to do for, you know, just unboxing and the review. I'll do a more in-depth review in a little bit, but I, know, I don't want to make this video, you know, ramble on for hours and hours. So, I'm going to cut it off right there, and, well, that's it. Hey, if you liked my video, don't forget to leave a comment. Also, if you like videos like this, click right here to watch my previous video. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can support me and I can give you my latest content right when it comes out. Thank you.